Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're gonna see rectangular and circular array. Let's start immediately to draw something. We go in drawings. I'm just gonna use a circle but you can use anything you want. You can repeat pretty much everything, a line, an arc or whatever it is. So four millimeter as a radius or again whatever it is and then we have to select it first go in modify and select the function let me just uh, do a step back because I want to show you what happens if you don't select the geometry first so if you go directly here you will get an error saying that the object is not selected so that is what happens cancel select array in this case I'm gonna show I'm gonna start with the rectangular and here we have all the options we can repeat in X in Y and also along the Z axis only if we have to, because if we only want to repeat uh, in, uh, in X, for instance, we can just fill out these two fields, so the repetitions, so how many circles, and their distance, I don't know, 15 millimeters, and that's it. We can close the function, otherwise we can keep going and say, okay, we want to repeat also along the Y axis, let's say three repetitions and we give the gap and again you can confirm or keep going do we need to repeat also along the z-axis if the answer is yes we can just click say I don't know two repetitions and their gap 25 maybe or again whatever it is okay now let's go back to the very first one we made And let's start over with the second options because remember when there is the arrow it means that there are other options in here so, so we can click on it and we see that we have the circular array again we need to select the geometry first then circular array at this point we need to specify the pivot so which one is the center of our uh, rotation you know we can click anywhere we want or just go by coordinates here on the right panel and then the next step will be specify how many repetitions 15 or whatever it is and their angle and again it can be specified just as I'm doing and then once you are happy just click it or you can specify the angle directly using the right panel so it's up to you once you are happy click and done this is it for today I hope this was helpful, see you at the next video.